Developer Ted has a bad temper. He went on a wild rampage with an excavator, flipping cars and demolishing a fence. It was all caught on camera. And today, Ted had a date with a magistrate. A demolition derby like you've never seen before. Now D-Day for the wannabe wrecker. Why won't you just say sorry? The man in the vision, Ted Crollo, a dad and developer from the ritzy Melbourne suburb of Turak. Today, he was camera shy as he bolted from the Sunshine Magistrates Court after his sentencing. Can you tell us why you did it, Ted? A Saturday afternoon in February last year, developer Ted's working on a construction site in Truganina in Melbourne's west when he jumps behind the wheel of an excavator and barrels across the road into the front yard of a family business he's been having a blue with. Sparked over a debt Ted claims he's owed, something the neighbouring business denies. This hothead flattens the fence, then the fire hydrant. Next, the cars. Ted gives someone out of shot a piece of his mind before getting back to work on the digger. Flipping this Skoda and demolishing a ute, they look more like miniature Hot Wheel cars, copping the wrath of the swinging bucket. Before Ted leaves, there's parting goodbye, but he doesn't get the last laugh. Police beat him to it. Did you smash up their property, Ted? At the time, this angry developer dodged our questions. Ted, just tell us what happened. Ted, where are you going? But there was no dodging the magistrate today who put him on a community corrections order with 60 hours unpaid community work. Outside court, Ted wasn't keen to chat. You're pretty shy today, Ted. You weren't shy that day, were you? Sprinting through a nearby shopping centre and hiding in a bank and behind a member of the public. Just a few words, if you're really sorry, as the magistrate said, why won't you just say sorry? It's a five letter word. Hey, Ted, don't attack the camera. Just before he was sentenced, Ted Crollo's lawyer told the magistrate a current affair was also inside the room to cover the case. She used that to ask for leniency because of all the negative publicity Crollo has already faced. He pleaded guilty and the magistrate found Crollo showed genuine remorse and attempts at rehabilitation. Do you think you got off pretty lightly, Ted? 